Today, the topic of discussion is, did an inventor create a robotic drummer 1,000 years ago that became the basis for modern robotics and basically kickstart the Industrial Revolution? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Al Jazari, who was a brilliant mind of the Islamic Golden Age, whose inventions laid the foundation for modern robotics. Specifically, though, we'll be discussing his incredible automata, and of course, we're looking at his ingenious drummers that were used in his renowned clocks. So Al Jazari was an eminent engineer and inventor born in 1136 in what is now modern-day Turkey. He served as the chief engineer at the Artuklu Palace. I probably said that wrong. His work epitomized the mixing of art, science, and craftsmanship that characterized the Islamic Golden Age. Before we get to the drummer, let's just set the stage a little bit here. Al Jazari's magnum opus was the Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices, which is kind of a mouthful. It was written in 1206 and documents 50 mechanical devices. Among these, his automata, which are mechanical devices designed basically to perform specific actions. And they look kind of like robots. They move on their own and they do certain things without the help of electricity or humans. So these were not just marvels of engineering, but also very functional art pieces. Al Jazari's clocks were particularly notable because they featured advanced mechanisms that displayed time and included intricate animations. The elephant clock and the castle clock are some of the most notable if you're listening to this as a podcast and you just want to see what I'm talking about. Google those. It is unbelievable. Okay, so now for the drummer. Among Al Jazari's automata, his drummers are particularly interesting. And remember, these were featured on his huge, unbelievable, intricate clocks. These clocks didn't just tell the time. They also included mechanical musicians, such as drummers, that performed at regular intervals in order to let people know the time of the day and also just entertain them. One famous example is the 22-foot-tall elephant clock, which was a water clock that not only marked time, but also featured our drummer friend. The drummer would hit a cymbal at a specific time to let people know that 30 or 60 minutes have passed. And it being Turkey, this falls right in line with the long history of Turkish symbols, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, so how does this work? How does a robotic a automaton robot drummer move and hit a drum or cymbal basically a thousand years ago? So the elephant clock's drummer automation worked through a complex system of weights, water flow, and mechanical linkages. As water filled up a reservoir, it gradually filled a float, which in turn moved a system of gears and levers. At specific intervals, these gears activated the drumming mechanism, creating a rhythmic beat that announced the passage of time. Kind of confusing, but there's a great History Channel video here on YouTube where they tried to recreate this with modern household items, and it made it make a lot more sense to me. I'll put a link in the description for it. But okay, so basically, water fills up to a certain point in a reservoir. Then the float is involved, and it spills over somehow, and it turns a water wheel which then spins a camshaft and gears that raise the drummer's hand. With the elephant clock, for example, this is all happening inside the elephant's body. The drummer, who in this case on the uh, elephant clock is playing a cymbal, he's sitting on top of the head. So he's like a doll, basically, that has this inner mechanism inside the elephant, which is raising his hands. The gear inside has notches in it. So... Once it spins, it's lifting the arm of the drummer, and then as it hits those notches, it falls into that notch. You would program it, though, by having a certain amount of notches, and I think I read online that it would be like two close notches on the right hand to make two dot dot quick hits, and then one notch spaced further out on the left hand, so dot 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 dot. Dot. As it spins, it again, the gear rotates on that camshaft drive train mechanism, lifts the hand up, hits the notch, drops down, hits the cymbal or drum. I think one could argue that this was really the first uh, type of programmable drum machine, which is unbelievable because, like I said, this is almost a thousand years ago. You could get pretty intricate and have different rhythms going. And he also had different musicians playing with like flutes that would uh, that would work, I think, with a system of letting air pass through um, kind of reeds and things that he had working uh, within different huge giant clocks. Uh, so pretty cool. So these drummers would be used in many of his designs, actually, and would be used 
for the most part, to entertain wealthy elite people of the time, the royalty, uh, the, the really the richest of the rich would love to watch these things. Another interesting design was called the musical boat or the musician's boat. The boat featured four automaton musicians that floated out on a boat on a lake to entertain guests at a royal drinking party. That featured, I believe, two drummers, had flute players, and then had people, uh, I think it had robots, ancient robots, automatons, dancing, which is pretty unbelievable. That's a different mechanism, which you can uh, learn about if you read his book. Al Jazari's innovations had a huge impact on the development of automation and robotics still to this day. His work influenced both Islamic and European engineering for centuries and was a major factor in the Industrial Revolution. The principles behind his drumming automaton can be seen in the development of modern mechanical devices, from complex clocks to early industrial machines. The drivetrain and crankshafts and cams that are found in everyday items, such as a car, are directly related to his inventions. The fact that he wrote everything down in his book of knowledge of ingenious mechanical inventions made it possible for people to learn about his inventions still to this day. I think it's Important to note that it really wasn't common to write down things and document them very much. And I think we can see that today where there's not a lot of documentation of uh, what engineers were doing a thousand years ago. So the fact that he did that is really, really important and clearly led to some pretty cool things that we get to use today. And just an FYI, you can buy a hard copy of his book on Amazon for like a thousand dollars. Uh, or you can download the PDF for free from archive.org if you just Google it, and I'll put it in the description. I hope you guys like this episode. It's a little bit different, obviously, but I just found it fascinating to hear about this mechanical early drummer and how it plays into our history as drummers. Um, anytime something pops up with a drummer that relates to like the invention of you know the car, the industrial revolution, modern mechanics, pretty cool to know that a drummer was used, although it was a you know, automaton robot drummer. I think it's still very cool. And I wanted to do this um, short video on it. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you'd like to do some more digging and look into other early automatons, I discovered this in a book that I had for my son uh, that he got for Christmas about robots. And there's a page or two dedicated to these early automatons. And it's fascinating. There's tons of them. The 1800s, the 1700s. Um, it's amazing what people could do without using electricity and just gears, and they can do some pretty cool things. Be sure to Google it and look into it if you're interested in it. It is definitely a fascinating topic. So anyway, hope you guys liked this episode and uh, got to learn a little bit more about uh, Al Jazari and his amazing robotic drummer. So thanks, guys. I will see you on the next one. 